So here we are at Kato Music headquarters, aka the Ark. Now, like every good book and film, Kato Music has more than its fair share of intriguing characters. Let's go meet a couple. Now we're in the belly of the shark, as you've uh, have you seen the warehouse. The man in charge of this belly is Mr. John Ashworth. John, a um, couple of questions if uh, if you're not too busy. Logistically, this place must be incredibly hard to look after. How do you how do you cope? It's it's pretty busy. Right, and uh, you know, is there any way that you can elaborate on uh, you know what you do on a day to day basis, and uh, you know, being in charge of looking after this uh, you know intricate operation? It's basically just moving stuff around. Obviously too busy to uh, really go through what he does, but uh, let's go and meet some other people. Oi, Nobbit, where's my tea? Here we are at the side of the building, going to meet the transport manager, Mr. Michael Devlin, AKA Devo. We'll see if he's free. Devlin, Devo. You no, know, look, I've just got a lo load of more shit coming. He's so busy. And obviously I'm just obviously getting rid of it. I've got, um, I've got what well, I think is an amp. It belongs to the Kooks. I've got one of their guitars. And I've got, um, I think I've got another amp with George Michael written on it, so it must be his. Tell you what, I'll even throw in, I've got this fitness rowing machine. You can throw it in for Teresa, yeah? Yeah, all right, well look, it's a monkey. No, not a real fucking monkey. Come on, 500 quid. No, don't worry about it. It's, Glenn don't know, he don't, he don't get his fucking hands dirty anymore. That's what he's got me for. Yeah, we need to go, mate. We'll edit that out, we'll edit that out. It's unbelievable. So here we are on the first floor, just making our way up now. This is the touring department. This is where all the tour advancing goes on and uh, this is where you'll also meet the lovely Laura. She's on reception. Um, she's a very beautiful girl, as you'll see. But she's also Scottish. <laughs> Don't worry about that, though. Let's go and say hello. Hi, Laura. Hi, so you work on reception. We were just wondering if you can tell us a little bit about what your job entails. Yes, well, answer the door, answer the phones. I make sure everyone's connected, so I put the calls through to the right person. And I'm Glenn's PA, and Glenn's amazing. <laughs> Didn't get a word of that. Uh, you clearly are the... Uh, <laughs> The face of Kato. <laughs> Not a word. Let's go through to the touring department. So here we are in the touring department. We are going to speak to Danny and uh, Simon now. They are the alpha males of what we like to call the heart of the gorilla, the touring department. Guys, tour advancing. Talk to me. I mean, what is tour advancing? Well, well we maybe, went, I mean, I'll take this one. I'm probably better suited, it being a slightly hierarchy position. Um, tour advancing is a, a life's dream. It's not just a job. I mean, at the end of the day, I go home and I breathe tour advancing. It, it is making sure things happen, and people like myself really put their hearts into this kind of work. Thank you, Danny. And, uh, you know, logistically, obviously, you work with uh, a load of big bands. Uh, what's it like, you know, trying to keep them all together and uh, touring? Honestly, it's got to be one of the hardest things right, to keep yeah, everything... Simon, just don't mind if I interrupt. I'm probably better suited being a kind of assistant manager role to give official statements. More like a manager's assistant, I'd say. Well, in words. Um, but, you know, the, the role itself is not defined. It's free roaming. It's what we do, it's what we breathe, it's what we live, you know. Come to me, I'll give you answers. Okay, thank you, Danny. And if I can actually just... Uh, sorry, Simon, you've been left out a little bit. If I can actually just ask, you know, and how long have you been here? I mean, when did you start? Well, probably, I, well, think, I think it was I've about... Got, I've got, I think it was around what? May 2009, actually. Um, so, yeah. What? what? <laughs> I think we should move on. Let's just uh, go and speak to some other people. So here we are on the south side of the office now, and we're going to speak into Sam and Sonny. Sam, Hi, Jamie. you're right. So we need to understand about what your duties include. Well, uh, my main roles here at Cato are reaching things that other people can't reach. For example, up here we have uh, hockey tour accounts. Right. Um, we've also got the ADT alarm, which okay. may need a battery changing. Or we also store things in the... Uh... Thank you, Sam. Going to stop you there. Um, bit more than we asked for. Sonny, I um, really want to speak to you about you know your role in the office. You obviously look very busy and we just need to understand exactly. I've got time to talk to you. No, 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 not you. No, 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 no. That's fine. Hold on two seconds. You've got an emergency. Well, hold on two seconds. I'll be right with you. Yeah, I'll come back to you. Yeah, yeah, I'll come back. So here we are on the top shelf. We are in the brain of the elephant, some might say. 
Now we're going to go and meet Jean, the head of the accounts department, and uh, we're going to go and speak to her about, you know, what it's like to, you know, be in a busy department looking after the finances and, you know, see how that goes down. As you can see, it's all pretty busy up here and... Uh, So here we are at the sales office at Kato HQ. We're going to go and speak to the new member of the team, Bells, about exactly how the bands are looked after in the sales department. Hi, Bells. Hi. Hope we're not disturbing you. Just want to uh, say hello and find out about what your role is. Um, well, I look after getting tour supplies for all the bands it's on the right, floor. you take that, you take that. <laughs> Busy. Hello, this is the sales department. Sure thing. Gaffer, yes. Two grams of what now? M. Oh, no, 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 you need Devo. Let me put you through, hang on. We get a lot of calls for Devo. Here we are back on the top shelf and I for one am really excited because I've got five minutes with the man himself, the owner, Mr. Glenn Rowe. Glenn, how are you? I'm good, thanks, how are you? I'm fine. We all are dying to know about Kato. Talk to me. Kato is a one-stop tour production company. We do everything, absolutely anything you desire. Okay. Tour buses, trucks, backline hire, rehearsals, storage. We have everything you could possibly need to go on the road. Well, that's fantastic. What is the secret to your success? Well, I like to think that the success is based on treating people how you want to be treated yourself. And we give the young people a start in life. So we, you know, we have a, a, a roadie program where we teach people to, to learn to be tour managers and sound engineers. And I feel that it's really important to treat people with respect. Can you introduce me to a couple of members of staff? My pleasure, let's go, go and see some. Sorry, Megan. Glenn, a successful company needs amazing staff. Yeah, I've got the best that money can buy. I mean, look, I have Des Broadbury from Muse's wife. Wait, Des from Muse? Yeah, yeah, you know, he does YouTube. What an amazing gorillas. tour that is. Yeah, World's yeah. biggest stages. Well, I think they've just the done the biggest stadium tour over the last 50 years. So I well, think they're doing Reading's start. coming up. I mean, amazing. Des, yeah. Des, I didn't know Des is from... Yeah. So who's this guy over in the corner? Well, that's my general manager, Matt. He's can we a, talk to him? I, I wouldn't. He's like a wild beast Same sometimes, but I think... Minute. He's done a little bit of stress, he turns 40 in eight days. So 40. Maybe a bit of a middle of crisis. Hello. Hello. Ready, okay, for fuck's sake. If you have to do it now, well, let's do it now. Are you ready this time? I'm, I'm, I'm just too bad. Christ. Glenn, I have to commend you. Some absolutely amazing staff. I mean, Des Broadbury's wife. I know. I Unbelievable. Can't... Who's this guy? This is uh, the, the absolutely infamous Bob Ward okay. from Sanctuary Records. You might have come across him. Bob Ward! Uh, Gaga! Uh, Beyonce! Uh, Sabbath! Uh, Sanctuary! Uh, exposure! Uh, we are in for a treat, a real treat now. One of Glenn Rowe's motivational speeches, and we're here to look at it, watch and learn, people. Watch and learn. Party as, as hard as we work here at Cato. The thing I'd like to explain more than anything else to any one of you, the one thing I've learned, the crystal moment in my life, is all you need to pass on to everybody when they say that you're very lucky to work in the music industry. All you need to know is this. <laughs> So there you have it, you've just had the tour of Kato Music headquarters, hope you've enjoyed it, I know I have. You've seen some of the characters, you've uh, experienced some of the emotions running through the building. So we hope to see you down at Kato headquarters today.